Hey guys, on my hunt for the perfect microphone for my YouTube content, I ran across people talking about pencil microphones or small condenser microphones. Now considering the trouble that I've had with shotgun microphones recently, I decided to give them a go. So the first one on a budget that I found was the 70 euro Samsung C02 or C02. And since the price was so low, I decided to get one and give it a try, see how good it works for me, and then give you guys a review if you should consider this one. Let's hop into it. comes in this nice, relatively sturdy plastic carrying case, which you can definitely use to transport the microphone if you need to. Now inside the case, we have, as you might have guessed it, paperwork. We don't need that. But then you have a small foam cover for the microphone. Now it's a small microphone, so the cover is going to be small. But after that, instead of like the normal clip-on mic stand holder for the microphone, mic stand adapter, whatever, you get the point. You actually get a little shock mount adapter to, for it, which is actually surprising. It has this small rubber insulation, I would guess, that gives it a bit of a shock absorption ability. Not a lot, but a little bit. And that's actually nice to see. Now inside the microphone holder, there's actually a 5 8 inch to a 3 8 inch adapter so it can go on anything you need and then of course the microphone itself it's just this little stick like pencil microphones apparently tend to be i've never used pencil microphones before so this was a completely new territory for me now the first thing that i noticed on the microphone is the surprising build quality Considering the price that one of these was 70 euros in EU, but on Amazon, especially in the American Amazon, two of these, a packet of two of these go for $110. Considering the price, the build quality was absolutely surprising. It is sturdy. It feels hefty, it feels premium quality. Everything is metal, but since it's size, it is still easily light enough to put on a boom stand or something like that. There are no buttons or anything, just the Samsung logo and the picture that shows a something closer to a super cardioid polar pattern, which is surprising since the microphone itself is said to have a cardioid polar pattern, but it kind of isn't. It's, it's a, something of a hybrid actually. But the only thing on the microphone is, well, the capsule and the XLR output. Now seeing as it is an XLR microphone, you are going to need an audio interface of some kind or a recorder with an XLR input. Because the microphone does require 48 volts of phantom power to work. But once that's all taken care of, we can have a go at the audio quality. So let's switch microphones now, okay? So what you are hearing right now is the Samsung C02. This is connected to a Zoom H5 recorder, and this is completely unedited audio from the microphone. Now, like I said, the microphone has a cardioid polar pattern advertised everywhere, but the reality is more of a super cardioid polar pattern. So it does pick up a little bit more from the back than a cardioid microphone would. This is actually, in my opinion, actually quite a good thing. So right now I have the microphone boomed over here. So it is possible for me to get it a lot closer to my mouth than on the shotgun microphone, the Rode video mic right there. Now, as you can see, the microphone is right here. It is now, I'm now talking to the side. So this is how it sounds from the side of the microphone. Now I have the microphone completely turned around. So this is the sound that you would get from behind the microphone. 
And here we go, once again, it is now pointed at my mouth, so this is the clear signal that we can get. Now with the microphone, this is what it sounds when you're typing on a keyboard. Now I'm clicking my mouse, so we can see how much of that it picks up. So as you can hear, for a 70 euro mic, the audio quality is phenomenal. This will definitely work for YouTube videos where you're just talking, but it will not work for stuff like gaming or streaming, surprisingly, because it's not meant to. It will pick up that keyboard a lot more than something like a dynamic microphone that you would be better off getting if you're using it for that sort of a purpose anyway. Now, if you've seen my earlier video where I talked about the RF interference problem that I have in my apartment, then you'll be glad to know that that is not an issue on this type of microphone. So all shotgun mics, RF problem. My first pencil mic, no problem. Like the starting segment that was recorded on the Rode video mic over there, this thing was on it the whole time because that is the only way that I can use it in this apartment. So why would you go for a pencil microphone? Well, personally, I wanna have my microphone out of the shot when I'm making these talking head videos because it just looks cleaner. My hands are free to do whatever they do usually, just flail around uncontrollably. So while I do have a great dynamic microphone, like you saw the Rode Pod mic there, it doesn't work for that. Now, as my first instinct was to go for a shotgun microphone, like most likely a lot of people have right there, you've seen the problems that I have with those. And that is plural because I tried a couple. Now, on top of that, my recording space's sound treatment is subpar at best. So there's quite a bit of reverb. And while shotgun microphones are pretty susceptible to that, pencil mics, not so much. So it's a win-win situation in most cases. So what do I think of the Samsung C02? Well, the build quality is solid. The audio quality is solid. And the great price point, hard to justify not getting this microphone. If you're in a similar situation to me, you would be hard pressed to find a better value microphone at this price point. So if you're on a budget, like me, there you go. If you do want to grab yourself one, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below, both for EU and US. Those are affiliate links, so it will help help support the channel if you do go by that route. And of course, if this video helped you at all, please like the video, consider a subscription to the channel for more stuff like this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I reply to pretty much all of the comments that I get. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.